Today we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install ramp springs with a 2,000 pound torque rate for inch and a half shafts. The left hand side is part number RS16933LH and for the right you'll need part number RS16933RH. Now these springs are designed to aid you in lowering and lifting these heavy ramps. If you don't have any springs installed you know it can be quite a bit of a pain. As you're lowering your ramp down, you kind of have to be under it. You don't want to just let it drop. Well, I guess you can, but you might cause damage to it. And vice versa, when you're trying to lift it up, you gotta lift up the entire weight. With the springs installed, they've got a 2,000 pound tension rating. So as we lower the gate, as we raise the gate, it's gonna be much, much easier. Now this is a, what I would call a medium heavy duty utility type trailer. We'll also show you on a very heavy duty utility type trailer, the use of two of them for those, those much larger ramps, the triangulated style ramps, those tend to be a lot heavier. So we'll show you that as well. Just to give you an idea, however your ramp's held in place, you'll wanna, of course, unsecure that. And then you'll see our ramp's gonna come down much easier. It actually kind of floats there. So we'll push that down. That'll keep it closer to the ground. We can get our equipment on and off. Then when it's time to shut them back up, much easier process than what you're probably used to especially if you don't have springs or if your current springs aren't in good working order. Now you can see our old spring, it's become worn and it's not near as effective as it was. You see how that's pointing off kind of in that rearward direction? Just means it's been fatigued over time. So we're gonna be able to replace it with a new spring. It's gonna give us much more effect. Now the left hand and right hand is going to determine which side of the pen you're gonna be putting it on. If you want it on the right side, you want a right hand spring. And if it's going on the left side, you're gonna want your left hand spring. Now to ensure we get years of great service out of the ramp springs, they're made of a high quality alloy spring steel. So they're gonna to return to their original position for years and years. Now to ensure you have plenty of room, we're gonna go over the specifications of the spring just to give you an idea about the size. From outside of our spring to outside of our spring, we've got two and a half inches. Inside and inside is gonna be about an inch and a half. From the spring itself to the end of each arm that sticks out is gonna be four inches. So you definitely wanna keep that in mind, make sure that you've got clearance for that, and also that that spring will make contact with something within that four inch range. Now to begin your installation, you'll need to remove whatever's holding in your hinge pin. It's gonna be the large inch and a half diameter pin that runs through here. In our case, we've got a bolt and a nylon lock washer. We're gonna use a 9 16 to get that removed. Now you also want to hang on to your hardware because you're going to need this to put it back in. That keeps this pin from sliding in and out. You can see our old spring mounted here. So we'll move our pin out and the idea is to free that up. Now this ramp's going to be very heavy and when you pull that pin it's going to want to fall down. So you need somebody to give you a hand or if you can handle it yourself however you want to do it. Just make sure as you pull this pin that that doesn't fall down and hurt you. Now we can remove that old spring, set it aside, and replace it with our new one. Now we're gonna be putting our spring on the other side. We've got an accommodation for one here or here, so it doesn't matter how you wanna do it. Make sure you get it where you need it though. And then our gate hinge is gonna go right in between there. As we install it, we can place that pin through. Now as we replace our ramp onto the trailer and install our pin, of course we wanna ensure that the pin passes through the middle of our spring. And we also wanna make sure that the flange on the ramp goes in between the spring and the flange on our trailer. Now to finish it up, we'll just reinstall the hardware that we removed to take the old one off. Now, as we said, with these really heavy ramps, they look about the same as the other ones, but they're much thicker steel. It really is a problem when it comes time to lower them. You're gonna have to fight it. You're really gonna have to put weight into it. And it can be, I guess, slightly dangerous. If you have anything underneath there without steel toes on, you're likely run into something. Same way going up to make sure you get a good hold up. Then you're putting yourself right underneath them. So if you were to slip, your hand comes off, it can come back at you. Those springs are gonna help us out a lot with that situation. 
Now just like before, we're pulling that pin out, although this time we don't have any keepers to put it in. So we'll slide this one on, just like that. Bring the pin in a little further. We can get our other one put on. Now after we have our springs installed, there's a huge difference in the operation of our ramp. We'll go through that same process as before. As you can see, it actually holds our ramp there. At that point, we just need to press it down a little bit. It's gonna make it much easier getting our equipment up and on. Now to raise it up, it takes a lot less effort as well. So overall, our ramps are gonna be much easier to use, but a big key is they're also gonna be much safer. And that'll complete our look at the ramp springs.